How do we know if Tesla are safe and secure? Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about the best security and safety feature of my Tesla Model 3, but this also applies to other Tesla models. We are going to speak about the security alarm, the pin to drive, the sensi mode, the required manual entry, and also about the intrusion sensor and the tilt sensor. So if you want to learn about all those safety features, please relax and watch this video. Tesla cars are developed with the highest standard of safety in every respect ranging from their design and physical structure to their security. And this is the security we are going to talk about today, how a Tesla car is very hard to steal. But we are on our way to Richmond to see the River Thames and the Richmond Bridge. So if you want to see some of those images, stay to the end of this video. The best way to activate the security features is to go to the control panel on your screen and then select security and safety function. You can then drive to the bottom of the screen where you will have access to all those features. The security alarm, which is auto selected in my case, but also the pin to drive and we'll talk about it later, but you can reset the pick to drive on that screen and also the tilt mode that you can see there as well and select it and the alarm uh, system as well on the screen. So this gives you some flexibility for you to switch on or switch off based on the level of security that you want to have in the control screen on your car. We'll now review each one in particular, and we'll start with the security alarm. How does it work? If someone tries to open the door or the trunk without a valid key or a phone, then the alarm will start to go on, and it will also flash some light in the car as well. You can deactivate the alarm with your key or with the phone if you tap any part of the screen on the phone. This is quite useful and it happened a few times for us when you leave a teenager on the back of the car if you drop to go shopping for some food and then the alarm starts to go on. The only way to turn it off is on the phone before you return to your car. But the problem is if somebody steals your key or can copy the key of your car, they can get into the car without the alarm. So Tesla have invented a software upgrade with what they call pin to drive. So how does it work? Pin to drive is a software that when you enter your car with your phone or with your key, you sit down and then you will be able to have one extra level of security. As soon as you press the brake pedal to start your car, a four digit password will be required for you to be able to start the car. By doing this, it's an extra level that people, even with your key, cannot get in and start the car. The next level of security in the car is called Sentry Mode. This is a feature that allows you to monitor suspicious activity around your Tesla when it's parked or when it's locked in a specific location. So for example, if you park in an area where you are not sure, you can set up sentry mode and then you will be able to be safer with your car. When a suspicious motion is detected, your car will react depending on the severity of the threat. If it's significant enough, the camera of your car will begin a recording and the alarm system will activate. You will also receive an alert from your Tesla app on your phone, notifying you that an incident has occurred. So sensory mode is very useful when you are traveling or when you are not sure when you park your car and you want. So how does it work? How do you set it up? The first option is to do it on your phone with the Tesla app. There you will be able to go to the control section of the phone 
and then on the control section you can select sentry mode this will activate it remotely if you are in a restaurant and you forgot to do it for example the second option that you have is to do it within the car you have a little circle on the top of the screen where if you press it it will have a red dot on it and sorry for the bad quality of the video but you should see the red dot where you are selected sentry mode when the red dot is selected sentry mode is activated and when you go around or the recording will start to happen you can also start to visualize the recording that you have on your usb drive if you press on the other little red dot on that you have a list of all the recordings that are saved in the car and when sentry mode was activated you can select the one you want to watch and the camera will start to show you on the screen what happened into that moment and this can be good evidence to have if somebody is trying to damage your car the next security option is called require manual entry and this is a way tesla give you access with a key or with your phone to open the door all the tesla cars have the option to automatically unlock as you approach the car with the key on all model 3 the phone key is used bluetooth signal to unlock the car when you approach it with your phone and we use it a lot you forget about it you have your phone in your pocket you walk to your car you open the door and then you are ready to drive the only thing we put extra was a pin to drive as an extra level of security the next level of security is brought in to you with intrusion sensors yes all tesla cars in europe come equipped with the intrusion sensor as standard the sensors are inside the car and located near the rear view mirror and they intermittently pulse ultrasonic waves through the cabin of the car if a detection is notified the alarm will start to sound off and the signal will start to alert you as well this can be created by either a movement within the car or a break-in of a window for example the last level of security that we would like to talk about today is called tilt sensors and all tesla cars are equipped with this sensor as standard the sensor is inside the car and embedded into the intrusion sensor module of your vehicle the alarm will sound if somebody is trying to lift the car for example to put in a trailer or significantly move the car around this will be alerting you by the alarm system but also on your phone so all those security features are great but be careful sometimes you need to disable them for example when you bring your car to a car wash this can set up the alarm or the tilt mode if the car is moved or if you move the car to a ferry boat to go across somewhere so be careful to remove those options in the control menu of your screen in the car well that's it for this video i hope you enjoy the trip to richmond and all those security features we are going to leave you with some very nice image of the richmond river the thames river and richmond bridge hope to see you soon on other video thank you for watching don't hesitate to like and subscribe as we currently do Bye-bye.